What is going on, Loud and Proud Crowd? Hopefully, guys, are doing absolutely fantastic. A couple of things I want to talk about real quick in the beginning of this video. We did release more new products on the store. We have been releasing a lot of new products. Almost every single day, we release something new on the stores, whether it's for PDA. We got the pigs out here. Got the horse running up. They all see me come out here and they all come over. But anyways, we just released, this is one of our newest products. It's the leather, loud and proud key tags. They're leather, they come with the key ring obviously and this little like rivet right here. It's like stamped. These things are real tough leather. They're not like fake, you know, leather. They're real leather. And we have a few different variations of those. Hopefully we come out with even more soon. But these are actually like cut to the designs. like specific so it's not just like all rectangular or all the same with just like a little print on it you know they're all customized according to the design that we use for the keychain so those are on the store we got new hats and for the pda store we've got new leather patch hats on there as well whole bunch of new hats on there store still being worked on every single day lots of new stuff going up on both of those stores stay tuned keep your eyes open and look out for the new products on the stores because i know that we didn't do that for the longest time and it just kind of sat a little bit stagnant but now we are adding new products every single week so you guys have plenty of things to pick from to fit your taste and style first thing i've got to do this morning before anything else is top off all of their water and feed so that they're good for the day. What we might actually work on as part of today's video is getting this dash painted. Now I am gonna have to remove this VIN tag and swap it over with the new one once we get the truck back with the actual VIN tag that matches up to that truck that came with that truck, but we are changing out the dash. Other than I think it's like this little crack here, which will be hidden in the molding with the new windshield we gotta put in. Other than that, well, in this one down here, I guess, that one's that's that's broken too but it'll still work um, because it's really just to keep it tacked down in place now it sucks that the little tiny piece up there cracked off but the the bolt head itself will still act as a washer and hold that in place and all these other ones aren't cracked or anything so we should be fine all the other connecting points of the dash are all good so what we're going to actually do is hang this not like this but we're actually going to get some thin string and hang it up maybe out in front of that open door and then basically work on painting this dash black and the reason i want to paint it black is because i'm going to do the headliner and the carpet in the truck black as well i think it's just going to look really good not to mention it's already a little bit wore out and chipped in some places and it's got some wear and tear from over the years i think this would just be like a good all-around alternative to the red dash in the door panels that were on that truck as well from the parts truck those door panels were actually red hard plastic just like this but again, hard plastic panels, there was no padding or that velvety stuff on, it was just hard plastic. So that can be painted. Now, if it was like red velvet stuff and red little leather things and you know all the other stuff and it wasn't just all hard plastic, that would be a little bit more of a challenge because you'd have to deal with that and getting that all redone. But since it all is just hard plastic, I think we should be able to make it look pretty darn nice with all the black panels to go with the truck. Whatever that first gen Dodge blue is from back in, you know, 92 or 93, that's the color that it's going to be. But I think the black will just look really good with that. But of course, I don't have any paint here right now and I don't have the proper string to suspend this, but that's not the biggest thing. I could really use like a strap. I mean, a little bit of black paint, if it got sprayed on, it's not going to hurt, any, hurt anything. But what I do need to get done is go and grab a couple of cans of paint so that we have them for this. And also when we get the blue truck back from the paint booth to actually do the door panels on the inside as well. And now I did also keep the bezel around the truck. However, it says unleaded fuel or gasoline only down there. And it's obviously missing some of the Cummins turbo diesel stuff. Um, but we've also got the glove box, which worked. We've got the little you know, fuse panel blockage thing that goes below the steering wheel is in good shape. We've got the little tray, which is actually in pretty good shape as well. Um, it's not broken, so we're going to be using that as well. And I kept all the hardware and all that jazz, of course. But so that's what we're gonna be working on and hopefully it'll turn out great. And for all the new products I was talking about, here's some more examples. Here is a new Prosperity Driven Apparel Co. Key Tag. LNP Diesel Trucks, established 2017. This is gonna be a favorite right here. More fuel, less talk. Then you got more Prosperity keychains over here. Prosperity proved them wrong. You know, established 2020. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. You know, just Prosperity Driven Apparel Co. established 2020. We've got a whole bunch of different variations. New tumblers, 
all these hats. We've got, you know, this one, and that one, and that one. We've all new variations and colors and sizes and options and new LNP ones, Prosperity ones, all that stuff. So if you guys want to check out all the new stuff, links are in the description below for both websites. Go check them out. It's super simple to enter to win our vehicles. You literally buy anything $5 or more in the store and you're automatically entered. However, every $5 you spend gets you more entries, you know, times however many we're offering per $5 increment. So it's that simple. Go check everything out. It's high quality stuff. You guys won't be disappointed. We're gonna take the Hellcat. Because why not get there a little bit faster? You know what I'm saying? Got the dash all wiped down, as dust free as I could get it. So we're gonna start to work on the painting process of it right now. So keep in mind it's got all these little chips and all these little stains and stuff. And that's not actually dust right here. That's the reflection of the screen strap. See how it goes away. Okay, so it is actually wiped down thoroughly. Um, the best that I can do it. So we're gonna get the camera on here. Get to layering it up with a little bit of black paint. However, before we get to doing this, let me show you what I'm using. It's just a Duplicolor uh, vinyl and fabric specialty coating paint, uh, flexible finish for dashboards, door panels, all the above. And basically, it's exactly for what I need it for, which is interior painting and interior stuff, which is what we're doing. So, this is what I'm using. In case anybody wants to know, now we'll get to painting it. So the dash is almost done, at least this, this piece I'm talking about. I haven't gotten to the other pieces. You gotta buy some scotch tape. I completely forgot to buy masking tape because I couldn't really do the other parts today. But as you can see, I got everything sprayed down. It took one full can to do all this. I'm actually going to end up drilling this out and putting in new rivets with the, with the proper tag that actually came out of the truck that the dash is going into. But other than that, it looks really good. This is supposed to be like a rubberized finish when it dries. So it's not supposed to be like that flaky, chippy, cheap paint. Um, now I'm sure it can do that over time, baking in the sun, but it looks really good. You can see all of the uh, edge of the dash there where I did this, obviously this part of it down low, around the glove box, you got everything well, well covered. Looks really good. All the way back to these tabs that are even gonna be hidden under the dashes are all really well covered. Let me spin this around so you can see the daylight a little bit better. So, everything pretty well covered that I could get to without scotch tape to mask stuff off like this to get all the red on the face that could possibly show through. Um, it looks pretty good. Got it pretty darn well covered. I mean, I think it looks awesome. So, that's the update on the dash. Dash is in progress. Truck we should hopefully have back fairly soon. Could be a week, two weeks three weeks, I don't know, but we're gonna hold no more than two weeks. Well, it's the next day, guys. We just got the trailer moved out of here. We've got both of the trailers actually parked back out front here, all nice and organized. Um, and in terms of a winner for the white fourth gen, that is coming very soon. It usually takes seven to 14 days after the last day to get the winner drawn and sent over so I can give them a call, um, but in terms of uh, what we're working on today, just got Scout all brushed out, got his tail all brushed out too, because he hasn't really been brushed out much, you know, over the winter. So we, we brushed him out a couple times, but just not, not as much as we used to when we obviously rode him during the summer months. Um, but anyway, so here's the dash. This is the next day. The dash is all dry. As you can see, it's all dry. It's real clean. Looks really good. It actually kind of looks like, like a black leather almost obviously it's not it's plastic but it does have that look to it which is what i want because that's the color i'm going to be doing the seats in the truck um which kind of given away there but that's kind of my goal so it makes sense with this dash color now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get out another can i got some um, painter's tape 
to block off that piece there and I'm gonna just paint everything black on the front for sure and then everything down it you know behind the back here a lot of it's gray anyways because you can't see it you know that was the natural plastic color from the factory and then they just kind of sprayed red but we're gonna do the same thing with the black everywhere that it was red that could possibly show mostly on the front side is all gonna be painted black and then all the edges in around that could possibly show through behind the dash there are all gonna be black as well. We've got the parts here for the glove box. I just dusted it all off and then the barn door was open. It just created a wind tunnel, blew right through here. So I gotta dust it all off again and then get it ready for painting. But I got all the pieces here. This is just like a fuse, the fuse block off panel that goes under the steering column. Um, that way you don't see your wiring and all that crap. This is just a little like change tray with a little cigarette uh, lighter on the inside there. And then you've got the glove box. And the glove box, um, it's gonna be fun. Um, what I'm gonna do is paint this. I'm just gonna paint the dial with it just because it should be fine. I know that it's a little bit more on the smooth side so it could be a little bit different, but I think it should be good. That little Dodge plaque looking thing, little tab, that just popped out and it's just got these little you know clips on the back you just kind of like push it in and it just kind of pops out so i don't have to mask that off but anyways we're going to get to painting all this and then i'm going to get to flipping this and then painting the areas that i couldn't reach very well the first time around <laughs> Well, we got the dash pieces painted and they look like they're pretty much done other than they need to dry, of course. I don't have the door panels for the first gen yet. Obviously, he's got the door panels with the truck, so we're gonna have to wait until we get the truck back to do that. I, it, I think it's gonna look really good. Again, I really do believe it's gonna look really good. And I think he said he was taking the windshield out of the truck because it was all cracked and broken anyways. Can somebody let me know down in the comments? Is it hard to find first gen windshields or is that just something that any glass place will just, you know, replace and fix and they'll just make one? Like, I don't know. So if anybody knows, let me know down in the comment section below. Is it easy to get a windshield for one of those trucks? If so, let me know. If not, still let me know so I know what to do. But the windshield, regardless, was it was all cracked and broke. And it's just gonna be much, much easier to take that old dash out and put this new one in if the windshield just stays out of the truck. But I got everything transferred over to black everything all the way around up top because I flipped it around to do the top side up here. Everything is painted black top to bottom. I went over it again with another coat. That's that. Everything's painted up and black and looks really good. It's going to look really good. Black dash, black plastics everywhere, black leather, blue truck. It's going to look so sick. Got the new Diesel Babe giveaway truck keys here. Got this annoying golden retriever so we're gonna do a little video here with reagan's truck i'm probably not going to drive the truck just because it needs new rear shocks but other than that it's it's really in great shape overall other than a couple of things she's gonna have done to it but i have been wanting to get another duramax for the longest time so i thought i'd show you guys around this truck if you can hear me over the wind because it's absolutely brutal um, but show you around this truck a little bit start it up you know just a couple of the ins and outs and things that i like about the truck so her truck has, of course, power everything, leather, and honestly, this is not that bad. It's got a little bit of wear here, but no actual like big holes in it other than this one little one right here. Other than that, seats are in really good shape. But we're gonna get in the truck here, start it up. I mean, truck runs good, sounds good. I'm gonna put the camera outside so you can hear the thing start up. It sounds really good. It's got Bose speakers in the door. Gonna show you around her truck again it is literally like a windstorm out here but it's hot and sunny
So other than it being brutally hot and brutally windy right now, the truck looks great, runs great, and I kind of wanted to run the idea by you guys of possibly getting a Duramax. And if I did get a Duramax, what would you guys want to see? This one is a 2005 LLY. It's got 190,000 miles on it. Runs really good, drives really good. This is my wife's truck. Of course, she's giving this truck away. You know, this truck will be pretty much gone by time, you know, my Duramax it ended up being a giveaway truck. But if I did get a Duramax and I did turn it into a project here for the next two months, two and a half months before giving it away, what year Duramax would you guys want to see the most? There's of course the LB7s, which you get in expensive into like injectors and stuff. And then if you want to mess with the transmissions on those and you get to build the LLYs like this, and then you've got the LBZs, which is like the holy grail of the Duramax trucks, you know, is what everybody says that looks for the used trucks, the, you know, the older generation of the Duramax trucks. And then you've got the LMMs, the LMLs, the L5Ps. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff, but what would you guys wanna see? Now keep in mind, with the new laws, with the new regulations and how strict everything is and me being on social media and sharing the videos with you, if you guys say, get an L5P, the problem is, I'm not gonna be taking it to get stripped down, if you know what I'm talking about. So I'm not gonna be doing that with it. The last thing I need is for the EPA to be like, sue you guys because you know so-and-so that watches your videos reported you and says you, make a, you made a video of stripping the emissions off your truck, or even if you didn't, send us a video or you know whatever information that you basically are having this done and then it could lead to the shop that did it and then they could shut them down and you know so on and so forth so i just don't i don't want to mess with that kind of stuff um, but anyways what your duramax did you guys want to see what body style all that stuff and then we'll go from there or would you guys rather not see that and would you rather see like a 11 to 16 super duty you know six seven or would you rather see a third gen again maybe a manual third gen let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think it is so hot in this truck right now like i'm literally you can see the moisture coming off my skin i'm sweating sitting in this thing the ac does work i was trying to be courteous to keep it off though so that you guys could hear me but look here it comes oh it's cold too oh my gosh Oh, that's great. That's really nice. Air conditioning stinking works and it's cold too. And this truck's only been running for like five minutes and the AC is just cold. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the progress on the dash and interior parts for the first gen. Those are coming along pretty good. They're looking good. I really like them. I think it's going to look really good in the truck. It's again, black interior, everything. We're going to take all the trim pieces out too. We're going to make those all black headliner, the carpet, the dash, the seats. I mean, it's all going to be black. So it's going to look really good. Full black, jet black interior with, you know, the blue exterior. Oh, it's going to look so nice. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Do not forget that if you want to enter to win our regular cab, six-speed manual Cummins, the 2015, your 10x entry deal ends in 48 hours, and then the 10x entries are gone. So if you want those 10x entries, information is in the description below. Just click the link, go to lmpgear.com, spend $5 or more. Every $5 more you spend gets you more entries. If you want to enter to win the Hellcat, go to pdapparelco.com. It'll be a link down there. It'll be labeled. We give away fast cars here. Click that link. Go check that stuff out. Those 10X entries also end on June 12th, this Friday. Pick and choose which one you want to enter for. Maybe you're into cars, maybe you're into trucks, or you can enter for both and you legally could legitimately win both. We will catch you in the next video. Peace.